The whole idea of it is dart, the giraffe, depending on where it hits, how much, if you got the weight right, um, anything from 30 seconds if you hit it in the wrong spot as it drops, uh, normally around two and a half minutes to about five minutes it starts to take effect. It obviously gets this long high step on it, um, if, depending, some of them run, some of them don't, um, and it's always the ones that run that you don't want to run. And, beautiful direction over here you can see it's lovely wide open that's what you aim for and then it runs straight into that messy stuff over there so you have to be just driving with the car so we'll have the vet we'll have the driver um, and then we'll have guys in the back of the bucky and we'll be sitting there all at least four of us we try to pull ahead of the giraffe and when we say go we jump out of the giraffe one person will take the lead and in front of the giraffe, as the giraffe is running towards us, you don't want to chase the giraffe. So we hold it, the giraffe is coming in this direction. And so what's happening, and we can just pretend, the giraffe is running here and the giraffe will run into it. So that's what we want. And then the most important thing is you have to keep it high that's on the giraffe because as it drops down the legs, it'll just go straight over the top of it. So that's critical, but also you don't stop. <laughs> you're gonna go flying and you'll end up like that which is quite fun to watch uh, but not fun to, to, to be, be involved with yeah <laughs> so the important thing is as you do it you'll hear you know you'll probably be with me going run with it run with it run with it and you're literally trying to keep it up high and you're running with the giraffe and you it slows down slows down and you almost gets to a stop and then we'll say cross and then you cross you know one of you under one of you over and if all goes well, the giraffe goes down. It's pretty simple, huh? Okay, so let's get on the, uh, the main drag here and we'll go for a bit of a run just to show you how it works. And so we'll jump out and I go, Rozo, take the rope, come here. Okay, and then we're getting ourselves, it's running out. You've got to make sure you hold the end, that's always a good idea, because if you don't, it doesn't work. Goes like that, and then, okay, stopping and then we'll go you go under and don't go anywhere near the legs of the giraffe we'll come down we'll grab the neck we'll put the neck down sit on the neck any one of you blokes sitting on the neck that giraffe cannot get up because it's like the horse so it can't it needs that momentum keep it up high keep it up high who's joining him under, under, under. <laughs> okay now under <laughs> Okay, just stop, don't move. Right there, this is a good example why it's sort of cluster. So you've got two people here, you've got five people. None of you are holding the end of the rope, but obviously super strong to bring this giraffe. Beautiful, giraffe has gone there. You crossed within about a second of putting it around the giraffe. So normally you let it run, let it run until it stops almost and then run and then cross over. It's all good fun doing this, it's really good. And you see, the giraffe can do anything. It can move, it can throw it. Instead of it going over its head, it often goes underneath its legs. All of this and anything can happen. But the most important thing is keep following up. Always, stay away from the legs. When it's coming down, be careful of the whole body coming down on top of you. But what you have to do is just look around, see where your mates are, who's holding the end of the rope we'll have gloves for everybody um, who's involved and then quickly get on that giraffe we have a blindfold that will go straight on the giraffe and then mark ortwin whoever will come in very quickly and give it a reversal so the rest of the time we have it down it's 100 percent awake and we are working on it 
and the only thing keeping it down is us sitting on top of it. Don't get up. Stay on that giraffe. If you don't stay on the giraffe, one of us is going to have to jump on it and get a little bit grumpy. There might be a few words. Stay on the giraffe. Don't move. So while we also have the giraffe down, I'd love to get a little bit of tissue. We'll probably nick it off the ear. Um, tail hair. So it's part of a bigger study to look at isotope. Um, isotopes in giraffe and looking at feeding behavior over years. We can look at that. So we've all done it. But the thing is to get you guys in there, give it a go the first time and just see how you go. And if you feel like coming back for the second time, absolutely. Okay guys, but a couple of key things. One, you will listen to Julia, all right. It is really critical to have someone who is taking control. Otherwise it can become a mess. So please listen to Julian. If he says run, run. If he says get the hell out of there, get the hell out of there. All right. We can have a lot of fun. It is entertaining. It is also serious, all right? And he has said it three times. Just watch out for those legs. They will kill you if you get kicked in the head. So don't play around with that. Um, we don't need to lose any of you. No. Most importantly, also the giraffe gets up happily. So I do suggest you try it once or twice more. Okay, just hold it. Yeah. That's good, that's good, that's good. Let's bring it back again. Okay, let's get the, actually just the sp Yep. Okay, let's do the bottom one. So what I'm gonna do, is it, okay, we can start taking its blindfold off. I just want it to get eyes. When I tell you to get off, you get off, okay? okay. I'm doing backwards now. No, yeah, don't worry, you're safe. You're safe. No, guys, you be safe, just wait. I just want the eyes open. Lift it up a bit at the bottom, so she just... Okay, let's just give her a second. Just wait, I'm just gonna let you go it. Yeah, I'm happy. Okay, I want you off. Okay, how's she going? She's not blinking. Hey mama, hey mama. Okay. Off. Okay, just wait. She might kick a little bit, but just let's wait. Yep, okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tap both of you guys and you pull off. And you just go behind here. Okay, okay we can go around. Ready, set, go. Let's just go. Let's just go. So once the drug is in to recover, it works an absolute treat. Um, so, but we'll monitor for a little bit and make sure she's all good. But uh, her mates have come and joined her, so we're all good to go. It's interesting how these, you know, old guys who have been in conservation for years, how much we can learn from them. And I'm happy to pass on a little bit to the new guys coming up. And, you know, it's just... We have to learn every day and if we don't keep learning then uh, what are we going to do moving forward and who knows what's the next effort what these young guys are teaching us out there they tell us oh have you thought about this and that and you take all on board and that's how we all grow and and hopefully together we're going to do so much more for conservation uh, than if we do it singly